Today's update to Plotter is a pretty big one, and I'm excited to show you all the new things. So let's get started. First, we have templates for scene cards. Now, if you try and create a new scene card, you can either create it how you used to or use a template. If you click on this, you'll see that there's a few starter templates that we've built in here for you. These first two, proactive scene and reactive scene, are based on the idea of scene and sequel, or also the snowflake method. And this third one here is scene essentials, which are useful details for any theme. So if we create a scene card with that, we can give it a name. And then the template attributes will be right here in the scene card. You can also create custom scene card templates. So to create a custom template, I'll just go up to here and add a custom attribute for my scene. I'll call this maybe the moment of truth make it a paragraph, and then I'll save this as a template. We'll call it my scene template. We don't need that anymore. When we go to create a scene card, there's my template. And I can just create that. And there's my template attribute. The next thing I want to show you is we've created a better zooming experience. As you can see, this is different. Now, instead of zooming, you have a large, a medium, and a small sized timeline. So this is the large. It's what you've always seen and what you're familiar with. In the medium, you can fit almost twice as much on the screen as you could before. And you can still drag and drop and use basically all the functionality that you can in the large screen. And then there's the small size. Here you can see a lot more of your story at once. The scene cards are a dot, but you can still do all the same things with them. You can drag and drop, drag that back. You can click into them to add details. You can edit chapters and plot lines. You can add more. And this is a great way to be able to see more of your story. The next thing I want to show you is templates in the dashboard. You can now see all the details of your template right from the dashboard. And for your custom templates, you can edit or delete them right from here. Another new thing in this version is this setting here to be able to change the appearance. You can either go with the, the system default, which is what your computer is set to, or you can have a dark, or you can have it light, whichever you prefer. Another great thing we've done in this version is we've made these card popovers a lot smarter so that they always show up where you can read them. So if you scroll over there, it shows to that side. If you scroll over here, it goes to that side. Also, when you're trying to add text, instead of having to click in this right exact spot, you can click anywhere in this box and then start typing. There's a lot more improvements and updates that have gone into this version that I know this version of Plotter is going to make your life even easier and it's going to be even more fun to plot out your story.